Hey everybody, I got a question for you. Everybody knows John 3, 16. If you don't, let me tell you what it says. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Most people know that, or at least they have heard of John 3, 16. Well, that's what it says. Now, here's the question that I want to ask you. Did God take a risk? Did God take a risk? Does God take risks? Why, why is it that we take risks? Is it good to take risks? Is it safe to take risks? Is it wise to take risks? Well, let me go over something again. John three sixteen. Did God take a risk? No, he did not. Let me tell you, God does not take risks. He is an all knowing God. So where is the risk when you know everything? Where is there risk? Risk does not exist when it comes to God. God is all knowing. He's the alpha and the omega. He was in the beginning. He will be, he is with us now. He will be with us at the end. There is no risk, no risk when it comes to God because he's omnipotent. He's omniscient. He's omnipresent. He is all knowing. He is all powerful. He knows the beginning from the end. He knows everything. So if you know everything, how is there risk? So this leads to this. How can it possibly make sense to take risks on things, risks in life without going to the father? Does that make any sense? Does it make any sense? This is something that, you know, I just mulled over in my head. I was just in the shower and I was thinking and, I, and all of the, you know, God was talking and it was like, how does it make sense to take risks in life? Doesn't it make sense to go to the father first and always about everything? Doesn't that make sense? Isn't the risk in doing something without God. Let me just read a couple of thoughts that came to my mind. Here's the thing. God is a risk worth taking. He is a risk worth taking. It is far more risky taking risks without God than taking them with God. If you gamble, if you happen to be a gambler, you're taking risks and you don't know how it's going to turn. But with God, you know that no matter what, it's going to turn out for your good. The Bible says that God works everything out for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. Everything works out for the good. Where is the risk in that? That is a direct statement. God's promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. This yes and amen. There is no maybe in that. There is no sometimes in that. Sometimes God may delay in answering something, but the risk is not asking him to start with. That's the risk. Is that a risk worth taking? I go back to John three sixteen. Let's talk about love and relationships. Let's talk about love and relationships because that's really what God is all about. God is love. God so loved the world. He wants so much to have a relationship with us. He wants so much for us to be with him. He wants so much for us to spend time with him, to take time, to spend time with him. He loves us so much, the world so much, that he gave his only begotten son, meaning he gave the world an opportunity to be reconciled back to him. 
It's not a risk that he took. God loved human beings so much that he gave. It wasn't a gamble. Some might say that it was a risk, that it was a gamble, because here's the thing. He's all knowing, right? Now he knew that not everybody was going to receive his son, Jesus Christ. He knew that not everybody was going to take him up on his offer, on his sacrifice that he gave for us through his son, through Jesus Christ. Some might say, well, he took a gamble. He took a risk on, on that. You know, he gave up everything. You know, how many people, you know, who are real gamblers in real life, they will, they will put their whole house deed, the deed to their house or, or a whole bunch of money on something in order to have a chance at winning something. Well, God gave human beings a chance to be reconciled back to him, but it is a sure thing. There's no gamble in it. The risk is in us not taking him up on his offer, on what he put on the line, on what he gave for us to have a chance to be reconciled to him. That's the risk. The risk is not taking God up on his chance that he gave us because the risk is this. If we don't, the Bible says, Jesus said that I am the way. No one gets to the father except through me. He's the way, the truth, the life. He's the gate. He is the only way to the father. There are some religions that say otherwise. I'm a Christian. I believe what the Bible says. Jesus makes it very clear. I have the scripture here to prove it. This is what he said. So I'm, here's the thing. Here's a tip y'all. And I'm going to end this video. Making it as plain as I possibly can. The risk is not taking God up on what he offered his son. The risk is that you can lose eternal life. He loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him shall not perish. It, it says shall not shall. That's a strong word. Shall that mean it's a done thing. It's like they won't. I promise they shall not perish, but they shall have eternal life. So the risk is not accepting God, God's offer, which is his son, not believing and receiving his son, that's a gamble. If you don't know Jesus Christ, if you have not received Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're taking a risk on your eternity. Some say, I don't believe there's an eternity. I believe that you die and you just die. But the Bible says otherwise. I would rather believe that than to believe that there's nothing afterwards. Isn't it worth taking the risk to get to know a God that says that there is eternal life? Isn't it worth the risk to look into him more, to seek him out, to get to know and understand what is he talking about? What is that? What is that about? Does that not pique an interest? I'm talking to people who have not yet received him, but I'm also talking to people who have but continue to take risks with what he has given you. You can lose rewards in heaven by constantly taking risks and doing things without seeking God's wisdom first. I want to go to this and then I'm going to let you go. Proverbs fourth chapter verses five through nine talking about wisdom. It is wise to run after wisdom. Wisdom is God. Wisdom is God. There's no risk when he is wisdom. Proverbs 4, 5 through 9. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will per preserve you. Love her and she will keep you talking about wisdom, talking about God too. 
Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor. When you embrace her, she will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She will deliver to you. That's wisdom. You see, it is wise to take a chance on God. You can't lose. It is unwise not to. It is wise to consult God, to seek his wisdom on a thing that you want to do, on a matter that you don't understand, on something that you need help with. It is wise to take a risk on God. That is the thing here. It is wise to take a risk on God. Gamble on God. You can't lose. God is not a loser. Don't you want to be on the winning team? Bet on God. You will win every single time. Though it may seem like you're losing and that you're in the losing seat. My friend, you're not. With God, you win all the time. Bet on God. You can't lose. Be a blessed. Like, subscribe, share this video, and take care of yourself. Until the next time, much love to you and to your family.